Hey everybody, this is the third lecture on the Great Depression and I'm going to focus on the Dust Bowl. So the Dust Bowl, also known as the Dirty Thirties, affected largely the states of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, Colorado, and New Mexico. And you can see from this map that there were certain areas of the, the states that were more greatly affected than others. But anyway, the entire breadbasket really of the United States was was pretty torn apart by the Dust Bowl. Here's a picture of, of one of the black blizzards. I can only imagine how crazy scary it would have been to watch something like this approach. Um, look at how small those people are in that picture. It's crazy. But combine the Dust Bowl with the economic depression of the 1930s, and you have completely farmers just in despair. Um, and, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. So the dirt drifts that covered farm equipment, cars, they killed livestock, they smothered crops, really was a major reason why um, farmers just weren't able in many of these areas to conduct their work anymore. And so you have a large group of people leaving these areas. So there are many different causes of the, of the Dust Bowl. First of all, there was a shortage of rainfall in the 19, early 1930s. So there was a severe drought that didn't help the circumstances at all. Also, there, for a variety of reasons, there were a lot of inexperienced farmers that were moving west, and it started with the Homestead Act of 1862. So toward the end of the, great, of, of the Civil War, um, President Lincoln um, passed the Homestead Act, which enabled um, people 160 acres they needed to homestead it for about five years, work on the land, and after that, they could claim it as theirs. And after the Homestead Act of 1862, um, they also passed the Kincaid Act of 1904, and they also passed the Enlarged Homestead Act of 1909. So you have these large groups of inexperienced farmers moving into the area, and they also came with poor unskilled or uneducated agricultural practices. So many of them were over farming, the invention of the plow, they were pretty much clear cutting the entire breadbasket. They were also stripping the topsoil. So they were removing all of the indigenous grasses, all the indigenous plants. And as you know, the roots of these indigenous plants and grasses, even here in the Pacific Northwest, helped to hold topsoil down. And so once those things were gone, and you combine it with a severe drought, the inexperienced farmers, the in, in improvements in dust industrialization like the plow and high winds, you have this perfect storm, um, so to speak, that created the Dust Bowl. So as I said earlier, farmers weren't able to work um, under these conditions, obviously, nor live in these conditions. So people started to move away for a better life. And these people were called Okies and Arkies. Essentially, they were American migrant workers moving place to place in order to find work to support their families. And John Steinbeck in The Grapes of Wrath describes a family doing just that. So my grandparents, um, before they passed away, I interviewed them because they lived in Nebraska during this time. And my grandma said that during the Dust Bowl, some of the black blizzards, she would wake up in the morning and there would be about an inch of fine dust or fine dirt inside their kitchen windows and inside their doors. They also would report that some farmers lost livestock. They would, you know, the, the livestock would become disoriented and walk the wrong direction. They would sometimes drown in nearby rivers. And so it was, it was really devastating um, to all of them. My grandma also mentioned that often, you know, they would be getting out, I don't know, a loaf of bread or whatever, and there would be a fine layer of dust on their food as well. So, um, in this picture here, you see that on the left-hand side, there's a jalopy and this was a migrant family that just shoved all of their stuff, all of their, their human belongings, their earthly goods on the back of this truck. And they were going place to place in order to find a better life for their families. And it was a really, really tough, tough time, um, especially compounded with the, the Great Depression.